Good evening everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, a while back I said I was going to do a video on what kind of embellishments that I keep to hand. So uh, this is going to be a quick video about that. What I've got here is a craft box. I picked this one up from um, a local store here in the UK called Home Bargains. Uh, it was only a couple of pounds. And it has um, removable dividers in there. So you can space them out however you want few little things that I keep in this box so I've got some of these um, large plastic embellishments got them in an iridescent color and clear and then um, I've sorted out the flowers that I've got these are just resin flowers lots of different types some really big ones some small ones they're just in colours so we've got blues, greens, purples, pinks and reds um, I've then got one for resin daisies I've got snowflakes in this one there are some oh, I think these are snowflake buttons um, I've made wreaths um, tool reeds a couple of years ago for Christmas and those were used to embellish that. Also use these ones for reeds um, and headbands and all sorts of things. I've got the glitter on them, I don't know if that's going to show up at Christmas. Um, and then also under there I've got loads of these. I think I bought these in a pack of like a thousand or something. Little focus. They're just clear ones. There's also some coloured ones in there. If you can see, pinks, blues, greens. But they're good for just embellishing middles of bows, sides of bows. Uh, these ones, these are the padded stars that I use on my aerial bow. Bought those in a big pack as well. I've got some Mickey Mouse hands. They're just resin flat backs. And and these ones, what I've been putting, these are metal. I've been putting these on bows lately. That's just a normal one. And then we've got dangly ones. Love this one. This is so nice. The iridescent. Also, we've got some crowns. And I think there's a unicorn in there somewhere. Some flower ones. Got like pearls and rhinestones in there. There's a unicorn one. So I've picked these up over time from um, Fiverr Friday deals, little bundles from craft pages that I follow. It's a nice butterfly one I'm going to have to use at some point. Sure, I've got one that says Daddy's Girl, Mummy's Girl. There's all sorts of little... So they're all the metal embellishments that I've got. I have got more, but I just keep uh, one of each in there and then duplicates I've got elsewhere and in other storage. So in this one, I've got resin ponies. They're just flat backs. And then I've also got some clay. Meant to be a unicorn, but I never used them because... Sometimes they don't look like unicorns. Planar resins. And some glitter unicorns. These are really pretty, but I've never found anything to use with them yet. I'm going to have to figure that out at some point. Then in this one, these are hearts. All different shapes and types. And then we've got this type as well. Used that the other day on one of the new bows on the Ellie bow. Then there's these tiny ones with glitter in them. And some of these. That's like a glittery heart. So there are different sizes and types of hearts. These ones are just pearlized resin centers. They're good for centers of bows. Uh, these ones are just some mini rolled flowers that I made. I think I did a 
tutorial on those in one of my lives. Um, also got some clay lollipops, which are very popular from China. And there's a couple of other resins in there. Got a Charlie Bear one, a little ballerina one. And then this one, these are all my felties from Emma Jo, uh, Emma jo Felties. So I've got a pizza slice to use for a turtle's bow. A uh, white rabbit one. Emerald City, which is for a Dorothy bow coming up real soon in a tutorial. Um, Mad Hatter. We've got um, oh, Buzz Lightyear Andy Foot. Now these ones are from China. These are little cat. These aren't felties. These are more like iron-on appliques. Appliques, appliques, whatever you want to say. Bought those in a pack. And I'll let you know what, where I get all these things from as well. Because this collection, obviously, I've been making bows for about eight years now. So this is a collection of things that I have gathered over the eight years. I don't use half of them. Sometimes I've had them for eight years and I think I'm never going to use that and then I come up with a project where I think that'd be perfect for that and I've had it years and yeah I'm going to now use it. So it's always good to keep hold of a few things. I have a storage box like this. You see there's a big crowd. I've got a few of these in lots of different colours. Um, we've got small hearts in here in lots of different colours. And this is literally mid finger deep, full of them. We've got some resin crowns in this one. Used those for royal bows a couple of years ago. There's also some hearts in there. I'm going to use these yellow ones soon because I've got some yellow bows to make. More hearts in there. These are tiny ones. Some of this type and then these tiny tiny ones great for valentine's day and then in this one i have got these mini bow resins which i also use for mermaids for little bows in the hairs um unicorns i think i used one on the aerial inspired by bow and then these are little round star shaped ones, um, teardrop ones. Let's look at a star, they're pretty. I've had those for years and years. Yeah, this type, I've had for years, I'll probably never use these, but they're always handy to have just in case. I also rhinestone my daughter's dance costumes, so sometimes these come in handy. Uh, but I do like to use glass on the costumes rather than uh, plastic. Well, yeah, that's the contents of that box. Um, I've also got a drawer, which I'll just show you. So this is my go-to craft drawer. It's at the top of my tower where I keep all my um, fabrics. So the top drawer is where I keep all the bits and bobs. So we've got rhinestones. We've got my bow templates, business cards, bits of ribbon, um, templates and little bits and bobs that I'm using at the moment. These are wings that I'm going to use, some glue sticks. I don't keep all my glue sticks here, just a few spares. And then we have, these are appliques I'm going to use for great Showman bows. I've got a few more. Um, sort of bling mesh bits more of those embellishments see I don't keep them all we've got spoons that I use for the Moana oars these are felt backed glitter unicorn heads which I ordered and came in a completely wrong colour so I've never used them there's some fur bows more little packs of rhinestones, bling mesh, thread, more little embellishments that I might use at some point. 
this is like a pom-pom edging I've got the gorilla glue fabric glue clear nail varnish prick stick isn't for bow making it's for my daughter's homework mainly but it stays in there because it's always to hand then uh, scissors obviously on top of here we have pearl half pearl beads they're always good to have again in a handy storage box I've got the daisies that I use for Mary Poppins bows another thing that's really good to have is lots and lots of thread always have these so again some more ribbon and then I've also got this big tower of drawers which I keep all my fabrics in and the really useful boxes that I keep all the ribbons in so in let's have a look this box here this is 38 mil ribbon and wider clips bobbles and headbands this one is 10 mil ribbon this is one mil plain ribbon uh, I think this is headbands and um what else is in there 10 mil ribbon and embellish more embellishments in there and in these drawers i have so this is a drawer we've just been in with all the bits and bobs this drawer is all scrap pieces of fabric so bits that i've used and can can't make a bow out of it but might make fringe clips might need an extra bit just to wrap around the middle always worth keeping the bigger bits just in case but that is really deep full of lots and lots of scrap pieces from eight years worth of bow making but always good like at christmas when i need a little bit of brown for an antler or there's lots and lots of red from the greatest showman bows as well always good to keep the scraps next one down don't know why i shoved that one in there i've just got this jelly fabric got to use it to make pool bows but this drawer is whites silvers iridescence creams that sort of color combination next one down we have pinks rainbows lots of different ones in there this one's golds and yellows and browns some beautiful fabrics in here not got around to using it it's a really nice suede um where's the rose gold that one's a really nice one really nice mustard um but yeah next one down reds this is left over from um the woody and the dumbo purples rainbow love that rainbow all those sorts next one down we've got blacks not many in there need to fill that one up and this one is blues and greens loads of blues and greens for some reason never use them need to start using those because uh, it's school holiday season people are thinking about some new school bows starting in September so I need to get some of the uh, navies and blues and greens used next one is furs all my fur fabrics this drawer is rammed full there's not many sheets in there but it's really thick stuff so that's furs Then this one, we have patterns. So I've got some minis, some autism, more minis, some Halloween, some prints. And then these are just bows that I've cut. The ones that I was fixing. These are the ones where I've cut them out. I've had a bit of spare fabric, I've cut the bow out, haven't used it, so there's lots of different ones there. Blues I'll use in the summer. 
do some half and half bows with these. But yeah, the bottom on the floor there's some just unicorn bows. So that's all my storage and all my embellishments. I've got a few other little bits up here. Stuff everywhere. And this is just the stuff that I have to hand in my living room, which is my workspace. It's not even half of the stuff I have in my um, craft room upstairs. So I'll let you know what to search for. So I use the AliExpress app and on there I always search for hair bow embellishments, flat back embellishments, rhinestone embellishments, uh, planar resins, P-L-A-N-A-R resins, which are these flat ones, but they're usually cut out in lots of different shapes. You get princesses and all sorts printed. Don't really use those that much. But yeah, I just look for embellishments. Best ones to get. You can get like a hundred of these for like two pounds. These ones are like half pearl embellishments. Uh, we've got resin daisies. So yeah, ponies. You want to look for flat back embellishments. And then um, it should come up with lots of different things. And you want things that are in quantities of more than 10 in case you've got, um, you make one bow and 10 people want more. And then you've already got what you need. They'll always save for future. Like I say, a lot of these I've had for the past, God knows how many years, but they're worth having just in case. And yeah, it's nice to have a nice stock of things that you can just come to and think, oh yeah, I can use that. Like these, I'd put these away in the embellishments box. And then I thought, I'm actually going to use those. They've become popular again. So we're going to do some lollipop bows. Um, haven't done them yet, but we're going to in the summer. So yeah, AliExpress, eBay, eBay's also good. Half pearl beads. Uh, resin centers, flat back embellishments, all that sort of thing. That's what you need to be looking for. I hope you like the, the little video on uh, fabric storage, what resins and embellishments. Pop over to my Facebook group. I'll pop all the information in the video description. Ellie Pops Bespoke YouTube on Facebook. And um, let's see some pictures of your embellishments and storage i'll pop a picture of this in the group and you can uh, post your pictures below ask any questions you like about embellishments yeah let's see you over there so thanks for watching hope it was informative and i'll see you on the next one bye